Hello everyone and welcome to Educers Clinics where we will discuss some key topics related to common medical and surgical practice. We continue our series on medical statistics and today is the second part of the sixth video on data organization and visualization. Just a quick recap. We have seen the DCOVA framework and we are on organization and visualization of data. We have already seen the types of variable, the measurement scales, the nominal ordinal interval and ratio scales, sample and sampling. And we have also seen the qualitative data organization and visualization. Today we are going to discuss the numerical data that is the discrete or continuous interval and ratio data. And we are going to see how to organize and visualize them. So the same steps are going to be followed. We will see the number of variables to study, one, two or more. We will see the type of data. As I have already said, this is going to be a numerical or quantitative data. So scales are going to be interval and ratio scale. We will organize and then we will visualize. The same rules apply. So going into the first, the variable is single. It is interval or numerical data. Let us see how to organize. So the same patient satisfaction score data can be an interval or an ordinal. What we have done is here the patient satisfaction score is from 1 to 10. So <clears throat> this data is interval or numerical data. How to apply the various organization techniques? You can use a frequency table. You can use a relative frequency percentage table. Or you can use a cumulative frequency table, just like ordinal data, right? So we are not going into details of them. Now going into visualization of the same data, you can use a pie chart or a cumulative chart. But what is new in this technique in interval or numerical data is the histogram. Now you may imagine that the histogram looks more or less similar to a bar chart, but that is not the case. You can see that there is no gap between the columns of the histogram because this is interval data. There is continuity in the data and therefore histogram has no space in between the bars, right? That is how histogram is differentiated from the bar chart. Another important difference is that the X and Y axis in a histogram are not interchangeable. That is also an important point. Another way of depicting or visualizing interval or numerical data is a frequency polygon. What this does is it connects the center points of each and every bar. The black line is showing the frequency polygon, right? So these are two new ways of organizing interval or numerical data. Other examples of interval or numerical data are temperature, Glasgow Coma scale or Apache score or similar other medical scores that we take for assessing our patients, right? So these are all interval data and you can use any of these techniques for visualizing the interval data. Understand the important points that we have discussed is the difference between the bar chart and the histogram. That is the X and Y axis variables can be interchanged in bar charts but not in histogram and there is gap between the bars of a bar chart, but there is no gap between the bars of a histogram. The difference between frequency polygon and frequency curve is very important to understand. You can see the frequency polygon in the bottom chart. Ogive is a cumulative frequency curve, which is different from a frequency polygon, which is the normal frequency tracing of the midpoints of the bars, right? So all these terms are important to understand. Thus to summarize the interval or the ratio scale, ratio scale also has the same organization and visualization techniques. We saw the nominal and ordinal data organization and visualization technique in the first part of this video. Now looking at the interval and ratio scale, the organization is more or less similar to ordinal data. That is we can use a frequency table a relative frequency percentage table or a cumulative frequency table. And for visualization, the patterns are different. We can use a histogram, a frequency polygon or curve or an ogive, which is a cumulative frequency curve or a simple pie chart. So this completes the data organization and visualization part. 
So from the DCOVA framework, the only part that is remaining is the A or the analysis of data. And so from next topic, we are going to go into the analytical part of statistics and then we will go into inferential statistics. Thank you.